Have you ever pondered why a garden filled with vibrant, blossoming flowers is considered beautiful, while a single, unique flower is often overlooked, even trampled upon? Just like that, isn't it baffling how society is prejudiced and abusive towards children who are simply different, unique, or come from diverse backgrounds? This just happened to a young boy named Hendrix. He is only eight years old, from a small reservation in Saskatchewan. Hendrix, being an indigenous child, was traumatized last week when a teenager at his school pulled and yanked his braid that he so proudly wears. The trauma from the prejudices he just faced impacted him significantly. It broke his spirit. He's only eight years old, and he wants to cut his beautiful hair. He doesn't want to go back to school. His life has been forever changed because his hair is different. Isn't it heartbreaking to know that Hendrix's story is just one of the countless tales of child prejudice? Schools need to be educated about indigenous culture and traditional ways, how the braid is important and sacred to indigenous people. Or consider another case that happened decades ago in Ontario. An 18-month-old girl named Rayan, with her sister Dolly, five, and brother Jacob, four, were taken from their mother. Their names were illegally changed and they worked as servants. They were abused, both physically and emotionally, over 13 years. Such stories of prejudice and abuse against children are not isolated incidents. They are happening every day, in every part of the world. No child, regardless of their nationality, race or socio-economic status, is immune to the blight of prejudice and abuse. Now think of a world where every child is celebrated for their uniqueness, where every child has the right to dream and to strive for their dreams without fear of prejudice or abuse. Such a world is not a utopian dream, it is a possibility within our reach. But to make this world a reality, we need to stand up against child prejudice and abuse. We need to be the change we want to see. Be kind, remember, every child matters. Every child has the right to be treated with respect and dignity. Stand up against child prejudice and abuse. Be that change, be the voice for the voiceless. Be the beacon of hope for children like Hendrix, Ray and Dolly and Jacob. Because in the end, it's not just about making a difference in their lives, but in the future of our world. Remember, a garden is beautiful because of its diversity, because of every unique flower that blooms in it. And our world will be truly beautiful when every child is celebrated for their uniqueness, when every child is free from prejudice and abuse.